Um, thank you very much, Akahiri. Again, we have another important EU Council meeting this week, and quite understandably, the focus is on the whole COVID and particularly the vaccinations. And uh, listening to news reports these days, of course, the level of the virus is still at a very dangerous level throughout Europe. I believe in this summit there has to be questions in relation to the whole area and an emphasis on production, manufacture and distribution of the vaccines. Our health systems in all of Europe, they need predictability about supplies. They cannot plan for vaccination programmes if there is a doubt in regard to the supply. Um, the EU citizens need to have a clear outline of the preparations that are being made in relation to having an adequate vaccine programme rolled out. The European Commission, at its highest level, have questions to answer. When did the Commission commence its purchasing and procurement programme and what strategy has it? Why were there not EU first delivery agreements with pharmaceutical companies? Indeed, some of the pharmaceutical companies have shown very bad faith in the way they've dealt with Europe so far. Another question that needs to be answered or addressed is, has the EU facilitated, or more importantly, ensured increased manufacturing capacity of these pharma products? Everything points to the world facing different variants of this virus for some time to come. We need short-term and medium-term planning to dealing with COVID-19. The EU cannot be accused of vaccine nationalism, while it has allowed massive exports of vaccines to other countries. Indeed, it would be preferable and essential to ensure that the EU got at least its fair share of vaccines. I fully appreciate, as the Taoiseach has said as well, that supply chains have to be protected. And I don't believe in trade disruptions. Nobody benefits from trade disruption, and the most vulnerable suffer the most. But I believe that we as EU citizens need to get the best possible protection from this deadly virus. So we need our leaders at EU level to ensure that there's an adequate supply, that the vaccine programme is given an impetus, that it's rolled out faster. And all of us have spoken to constituents who have had the vaccine administered to them, and we see how much it has changed their lives and their outlook. One further issue that I want to to mention is that I'm sure that in the discussions with President Biden in EU-US relationships, Brexit will, will come up for discussion. And it's absolutely essential that the, that the Ireland Northern Ireland Protocol, that that's implemented in a practical manner, that there's a partnership with Britain as well to ensure that the difficulties that are there, that they're ironed out in a practical manner. Because if there's trade disruption in Northern Ireland, it means there's further trade disruption throughout all of this island. We need to protect the all-Ireland economy. So it's essential <coughs> that the EU Northern Ireland Protocol is dealt with in a practical way and those problems are eliminated. Thank, Thank you, you very